Hey guys, Jonathan Graham here. Today I'll be teaching you how to fold a model that I just designed not too long ago. This is my hexahedron from a single square of paper. Here's one from a section square. And you can also make it into a Christmas ornament. You can see this one, perfect for Christmas. Next month is Christmas, so use it for that. Here's a giant one from a 12 inch square. But anyway, let's fold this, this hexahedron or triangular dipyramid. Here's a little one from a three inch square. But anyway, just, you want to start with making what's called the square base, where you fold the paper in half, colored side down, so your cube will be colored. You're going to fold with the open side away from you, you're going to fold this point up to the center. Flip it over, take this point, fold it up to the center. And now we're going to open up here and flatten, and now we have what's called a preliminary base. Now we're going to turn this into the hexahedron. So first you're going to take all the layers, you want the colored side, or the open side facing this way, and fold this in half. We're going to make a little pinch right there, just on the open side. Open, rotate so the flaps are to the bottom left in this case, and we're going to make the crease on the open area there. Make another pinch, a sharp pinch. Now we're going to take it like this. We're going to take this corner and bring it to the pinch mark we just made, basically folding in a fourth. Crease really sharply. Now we're going to unfold, we're going to turn it over, and take this one and fold it here. The openings are here. Sh crease really sharply. Now we're going to unfold. Now we're going to take this point here and fold it up to the intersection of creases. Unfold and we're going to just reverse that crease. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take, you see there's this, the crease here, we're going to take these two flaps corners is one, and fold them in to the crease there, just like that, okay? And unfold, rot turn it over, and you see the crease, you're going to fold this, these two flaps together, these are two flaps, and fold them down and unfold. Now we're going to take one of these flaps and fold it behind. Now what we're going to do is what I call a double flap lock. We see we have, right now we have four corners here, four flaps. We only need three flaps. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up here and take this corner and these corners and pinch them together. And you're going to fold in along the crease and this is going to fold in like this. So that's a double flap lock. Now we're going to turn this over and take this as a single one and fold it in. And now we're going to Take this flap here and turn it like this, like you're turning a page of a book. And you're going to do another single flap, folding this in, and you can see how it tucks in. So you have sort of a heart shape. Now we're going to turn this heart into our hexahedron. So we're going to open this up. You see we've got three flaps. And we're going to pop this open and make creases along the edges. And on this one you want to crease it extra sharp because you have this double layer here. This is the double one. So now what we do is we're going to take these creases here, which are actually valley folds, and just reverse them so that they're mountain folds. And now we're going to lock this together. Now if you were to make this into an ornament, you take your piece of cotton and tie a loop, and then what you do, you're going to fold these, well just for now we'll just assemble this. So you're going to take the first one, and the second one, tuck this in, and the last one you're going to take and tuck underneath the first one. And if you were to make an ornament, you'd take your loop of thread and you'd stick the knot in the top here, and when these flaps are held together, they will actually lock the knot in place. And then your hexahedron is finished. From one square of paper, it's quite sturdy when you're finished, it's quite a stable model. And to make an ornament, like I said, you take your thread, I took the loop of thread, I doubled it and knotted it, and I took right where the two flaps interconnect there, I shoved the knot inside, and then when this closed around, it trapped the knot inside, and that's what keeps it attached. So the knot is right inside here. But that's just an option if you want to make it into a Christmas ornament. But that's pretty much it. Not too difficult to make the hexahedron or the triangular dipyramid. Hope you're able to make that one, and I will see you next time.